Hey everyone, Dan here from SurePT. The goal today is to do a little bit of shirt maintenance. We're actually going to be repairing the brake caliper. Um, and we're going to repair it by actually replacing it with a new one. Hope you enjoy it. So Sherp USA shipped me the brake caliper. And there she is. So the first thing that I'm going to do, well after taking all this crap off to be able to get to it, is just crack that line that's leading to it a little bit just to make sure that uh, we can do it while it's all connected it'll make life just easier so we got that cracked off a little bit just slightly tighten it well definitely not one of the worst jobs to do on the sherp so basically we are taking out this bolt you're not going to be able to see it in another bolt right here and then that whole caliper and plop right off. Sorry about the quality of the video, some parts of this. For whatever reason, oh. I could not oh. keep it in focus. Oh. 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 One thing that is kind of a bummer just because of all the oil that's used on the chain is uh, it gets quite oily in here so getting yourself just some absorbable pads is a, is a requirement. Right back with the side cutters. There we go, caliper is out. Pads seem to be actually okay. So it's kind of interesting, the one that I'm taking out is actually has different bolts uh, than the one that was in there. And well, I actually took this over to the vise to be able to get these ones right here loose um, because I couldn't get them off on the ground here. And the new one, I can't get off on the vise and I don't want to take the risk of trying to, you know, break something. So I'm going to take that off after I put that back on inside of the Sherp and then I got some place where I can have some leverage to take these suckers out. As you're going through this video you might hear a lot of planes in the background. That is because it's coming up to the end of EAA which is located in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And there's a lot of planes that fly around here. So let's plop this off. See how those brake pads look. Not terrible. We will clean them up. And go from there. I'm sure this will be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Get this sucker started. these bolts loose. I ended up just using a regular Allen wrench.
after I took this cap off that holds the brake pads in, I went and got the brake pads from the other one, put it back into that same area, and then reinstalled that cover over the top of it. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to just start it up and uh, we got this little jug attached to the bleeder and we'll get the air bled out of it. Then we basically just followed the same process you would with a car. Trevor was kind enough to be up front pulling on the handle as he pulled back on the handle. The brake fluid is coming through, getting all the air out of the brake lines and the whole process worked absolutely great. Thought I'd throw this in just because I had the panels off. A little bit more detail about how a Sherp steers. We have two levers that we use to stop one of the sides of the Sherp. And when you pull on this lever, what happens is in the bottom part, the top part right there, as you can see that lifting up, when it goes up, that is clutching that side. It's making a clutch activate right after the engine so that side does not spin and when I pull it back farther on the very bottom that moves that other cylinder which activates the brake. Alright so let's go on a quick little maiden voyage and see if we were successful in getting this fucker to work. We have everything quite in here the way it should be yet. I don't want to have it all in here yet because I want to make sure it works before I put things back together. Well, we're getting to the end here. Just gonna go out and do a quick little test drive, but wanted to say thanks to everybody for watching. I should be back in the Sherpa bit, shall we say here, now that I'm starting to get all healed up this coming weekend. Looking for an exciting time going down the Wisconsin River but with a lot of kayakers and tubers, and we'll see what happens on that, but we're gonna stay overnight on a sandbar. So looking forward to that. Uh, should be some good video footage of that, I hope.